This is the island where many of the refugees from Syria begin their journey north. People pushed and shoved to get past the port's gates, where authorities have been holding some 15,000 migrants and refugees. Those here say they were hoping to get on board two ships chartered by the Greek government to bring them to Athens, following days of violent scuffles with police. 2,500 people successfully made the trip and arrived in the capital's port of Piraeus. Some spoke of the violence back in Lesbos. There was so uh, bad treatment from them, and uh, the policemen were, were, were hitting the people when, and screaming and shooting them. Difficult. There is shortage in the water. We have, a, we have a kids, we have a small babies. We have a shortage in all kinds of service. Many here will make their journey north through the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and on to Central and Western Europe. In France, former French president and conservative opposition party leader Nicolas Sarkozy said Europe should be processing migrants and refugees outside of the EU's borders. We know that 90% of asylum requests end up being denied, and this process must take place before the migrants cross the Mediterranean. After they cross, it's too late. Meanwhile, in Paris, thousands took to the streets demanding greater support for those trying to make it into the EU. They condemned what they said was the slow response of European governments and rallied under the banner, pas in notre nom, not in my name. Well, much of this crisis in Europe, of course, stems from the ongoing fighting in Syria. On Saturday, the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry spoke by phone with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. Kerry said he was concerned Russia's support of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad could further escalate the conflict there and increase the flow of refugees. Russia has urged the U.S. to cooperate with Assad. The two reportedly agreed to further discuss the issue here in the U.S. later this month. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.